Keith Jen, we are getting some new context tonight. I've spoken with many storm victims unhappy with their insurance company. They say they filed a claim, but they didn't get a penny. Well, now we know they're not alone. Hurricane Ian packed 150 mile per hour winds and 15 foot tidal surges. It rocked Florida's already fragile property insurance market. Now, months later, the state's top insurance chief, Commissioner Michael Jaworski, releasing new claims data online. It shows insurance companies have closed a majority of claims, nearly 86%. From that batch, three out of 10 claims, or nearly 200,000 claims, have been closed without payment. Translation, Floridians didn't get a cent. Aid on your side had questions about that. The Florida Office of Insurance Regulation is in charge of policing insurers. Commissioner Jaworski has declined interviews, but in a statement, his office told me they're, quote, still in the process of reviewing this data. They say in many cases, insurance companies report there was no damage or it was below the deductible. David Murray is an attorney who fights insurance companies in court. Three out of every 10 claims, they're saying there was no coverage or it didn't exceed the insurance deductible. Um, I don't believe that's true. That's not what we're seeing. What can these tens of thousands of people do now? They have the right to reopen their claim or to make supplemental claims. Not so fast. Might be a waste of your time says longtime yeah, insurance broker Ron Assisi. Uh, the storm surge was uh, was astronomical. A standard homeowner's policy covers wind damage or water coming from the ceiling down. It does not cover flood damage or water rising from the ground up. Most of those that we know of that were closed without pay were closed based on the fact that they were homeowners claims and a homeowner's policy does not cover flood. So if you do want to reopen a claim, you should do that sooner rather than later. That attorney tells me there is a time limit here. Meantime, if you're not happy with your insurance company, make sure that you file a complaint with the state. Commissioner Yorski's office tells me when they're evaluating these insurance companies, they do look at claims data along with what they call complaint data. So you should be heard if you're not happy.